Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do another Bible review, but before we get started, I would like to remind you to make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that you hit that little bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. So today we're going to be looking at the NIV Pew and Worship Bible. This one is put out by Zondervan. So we're going to look at the back side here. I'll hold that right there in case you would like to pause and read that top section. And then we will drop down and look at the features. So we'll have the NIV. It's also going to have their comfort print in a 9.4 font size. It's a double column format and a durable hardcover binding with a high quality paper. We've also got an example of the text. And here's our ISBN number. Retail is just $16.99, which means you can definitely find it for less. And I will put a link in the description box as well. This one also matches page for page with the NIV Preaching Bible, and we'll see that here in just a moment. So this Bible here measures out at 8 and 3 quarters inches tall, 5 and 3 quarters inches wide, and is an inch and an eighth thick. So we've got our head and tail bands. We're going to have plain white page edges. On the front, we've got New International Version, Holy Bible. It does have kind of a nice texture on there. On the spine, we'll have Holy Bible. NIV and Zondervan. On the back we'll have our ISBN number and also the Zondervan logo. So it's going to have your typical paper paste down liner which any hardcover type book will have. And then we'll get into our title pages. This one is going to be the 2011 version of the text and one thing to point out if this is important to you this one was printed in the United States. We'll have our table of contents also a list of all the books alphabetically. Then we'll have a preface to the NIV. And then we get right into the Old Testament. So we've got our double column layout. Any type of little notes will be on the bottom of the pages. So this one here does have the 9.4 font size. I'll get you a close up of that. So if you're going to use this as just like your regular daily use Bible, you do have a teeny bit of space here if you wanted to jot down some cross references or some small notes. And again, any of your translation type notes are going to be down on the bottom part of the page. That way it's not cluttering up the text. Now this one is going to be just black letter only. We won't have any words of Christ in red. And because it's a pew and worship Bible, it's not going to have any extra features like study notes, maps, or a concordance. We're looking back in the New Testament. We can see that it is just black letter. If it was a red letter edition, we'd be seeing a lot of red right now. So just black letter. And to show you real quickly how this matches up to the NIV Preacher's Bible from the Premier Collection, which is going to be the only verse-by-verse -verse NIV. So if your pastor is preaching from the NIV and he's got the preacher's Bible, now if he was to go up to his page, so say he's preaching out of Matthew 26, 29, and that's where he's at on page 853. So we can see where that's at on this one. So we're going to go to the same page in the preacher's Bible. So that makes it nice and fast for the pastor to just tell the congregation, turn to page 853. Now, even though this one here is going to be a verse-by-verse -verse layout, we can still see that it starts with 25, verse 38. And if we get a close-up on this one here, we can see that that's where we're at on this one. Because we can see that 38 is right there in 39. And we end with looks like 26 29 right here and if we get a close-up on this one we can see also that we've got chapter 26 there and verse 29 so it does make it nice to just tell his congregation what page to turn to everybody's on the same page he can say hey look on the left column or wherever he's at and it's just going to be so much faster than waiting for everybody flipping through their Bibles if they have these in the pews. So that is one nice thing. It also does have a nice paper. The paper does have a good feel to it. So if you wanted to get a more of a basic Bible to do your 
highlighting and underlining and you don't want to mark up a more expensive Bible, this would be a good one to do that in. Or to perfect your highlighting and underlining color schemes, this would be a great one. Once we get back to the back of the Bible, we'll get to the end of Revelation. And the only helps we're going to have is the table of weights and measures. And then we just get back to the back of the Bible. But nice little hardcover if you're looking for just kind of a basic type Bible. This is a type of Bible that if I'm just going somewhere and more so in the past than like lately because of COVID and everything, this is a good type of Bible to take with you to just do some basic reading from. Because then if you happen to run into somebody and you strike up a conversation about the Bible and they don't have one, this is a well-made, inexpensive one that you can give to them to take with them. And you know that it's going to be a good Bible for them. So that is one other nice thing about these versus just a basic outreach Bible that's a, maybe a paperback, doesn't have as nice a paper doesn't read as well, doesn't have as good a font or anything. So that is one thing that I like to use the different pew and worship Bibles for. So again, this one is the NIV pew and worship Bible. There's another shot of the ISBN number. And once again, there will be a link in the description box. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.